Hello everyone and welcome back to Navis Nobilite. I am Captain Zelnick and we are continuing the tutorial videos and we're going to be talking about the different classes of ship that exist in the game. Now generally speaking the classes of ship are universal across all of the fleets. All fleets have access to escorts, cruisers, battleships, and defenses. They are the general understanding of the different kinds of size, scale, mobility, and mass of the different ships that can exist in the game. Now, there are a couple of unusual circumstances that kind of stand outside of the norm, but generally speaking, unless the actual data card gives them rules that are not normal, these are the rules that are going to apply across the board. Okay, now, as I said, there are four classes of vessel in this game. There are escorts, cruisers, battleships, and defenses. Now, escorts encompass a lot of different ships, but generally speaking, escorts have a single hit, they can turn immediately without moving, and they are usually, but not universally, faster, more maneuverable vessels. Cruisers encompass a broad spectrum of different ships, up to and including light cruisers, standard cruisers, grand cruisers, heavy cruisers, battle cruisers. There are many, many, many different kinds of cruisers out there, and there are some ways of differentiating them, but they all follow a core set of rules. Battleships are generally speaking, all follow the same rules. They are much larger than cruisers, significantly less maneuverable, and generally slower. Defenses are things that are either stationary, or they are things that are so large and so massive that ultimately it doesn't matter how fast it moves, it's ridiculously easy to shoot. So let's get into the details. Escort vessels, the ultimate rule that revolves around their movement is that they may make their turn immediately any time during their movement. They may turn once, but any time, anywhere in their movement, they may make their turn. Now, generally speaking, though not universally, uh, they may move usually upwards of 25 to 30 centimeters, uh, and they have a 90 degree turn. But they can make that 90 degree turn right away or anywhere along their movement. But they can only turn once. And that is, by the way, universal unless under special orders. The rule of the game. You may turn once. Now, let's, let me demonstrate. After, along this movement say 15 centimeters. This escort may turn once at any time, uh, say in this case for the sword, 90 degrees. It may not turn a little bit, move, and then turn again, unless it is on come to new heading, which is a special order that permits you to turn a second time. Now, what that means for an escort is that you may turn twice so that means you can turn instead of 90 degrees you can do a full 180 and turn all the way around or you may say move ahead make a 90 degree turn move again and then make another 90 degree turn ultimately they may turn at any time during their movement a cruiser is different. Cruiser class vessels are too massive to be that maneuverable. Generally speaking, if a cruiser class vessel attempted to turn on the same maneuverability level as a escort, it will rip itself apart. These ships are simply too big. Universally across the game, cruisers of all varieties must move 10 centimeters straight ahead before they can turn. And then they can turn however far they can. Generally, it's between 45 degrees and 90 degrees for light cruisers and certain alien cruisers. But after they make their turn, they may continue to move. 
up to their maximum, but they cannot turn again unless they are on come to new heading special orders. If they are on come to new heading special orders, they must move the full 10 centimeters twice in order to make the second turn. If for whatever reason they are not able to make the full 20 centimeters, so 10 for the first turn and then 10 for the second turn, they cannot make the second turn. So be wary of blast markers if you're the Imperial Navy. Very often, that will slow you down well below the point of your capacity to turn twice if you're on that special order. Generally speaking, though, you get one turn after 10 centimeters. Battleships are even less maneuverable. They are so incredibly massive that they have to go 15 centimeters before they can turn. And then, of course, they can only turn once. No battleship in the game has the speed necessary in order to go a make a second turn. Plain and simple. No battleship in the game is capable of using come to new heading. Even the Eldar don't cheat that much. So, remember, battleships may only turn after 15 centimeters unless they have a special order that changes that. Uh, sorry, a special rule that changes that. As far as I'm aware, there is no such rule on any battleship in the game. Now, there is a way to turn sooner than 15 centimeters for a battleship. And, in fact, any ship that is larger than an escort. Burn Retros allows you to make a one turn immediately or anywhere in your movement if you move at all. So Burn Retros halves your movement um, to halves your movement maximum. So you go down to half speed to zero. You do not have to move at all if you burn retros. And you get one turn, which means if you burn retros on a cruiser or a battleship, you may make one turn right away. Now, there are consequences to both come to new heading and to burn retros, but if you're looking to be more maneuverable with a battleship, burn retros is the maneuver for you. Defenses, generally speaking, don't turn really in the same way as other forms of ships. Some defenses rotate, which means every round they make a 45 degree turn but remain stationary. Some simply don't rotate at all. They remain stationary as is. It depends on the defense. Read the rules of the, the specific defense to identify if it does turn. Many defenses don't even move. Some can move, albeit slowly, and others move with unique rules, things like the Orc Hulk, the Orc Rock, the Crute War Sphere. These are all things that can move, but they have very specific rules for that movement. So, remember to read your rules. So, as a recap, escorts can turn immediately or anywhere along their movement once. Cruisers may turn once only if they move the prerequisite 10 centimeters. If they are on come to new heading, they must move a further 10 centimeters before turning again. If anything prevents them from getting the full 10 centimeters, they may not turn. Battleships may only turn if they move 15 centimeters or if they burn retros. If you cannot move, for whatever reason, your full 15 centimeters, you will not be able to turn if you are not on burn retros. Defenses generally don't turn unless they rotate, in which case follow the rules that are described in the actual ship rules, which will be described with their data card. Now, if for any reason any of these ships cannot move and that this does not apply to burn retros if for any reason these ships move less than five centimeters because outside phenomena 
are preventing them from going beyond five centimeters. There are things that can and will slow you down, like certain forms of critical damage. Certain forms of astral phenomena will slow you down. There are certain abilities that certain races have that can slow down an enemy ship. For whatever reason, if a vessel cannot move more than five centimeters voluntarily, it is counted as a defense. Now, what does that mean? It means it's much easier to shoot. So, that's this video on ship size and movement and what it means. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all again in the next video.